Can you imagine graduating law school in your 20s, having a job all lined up three months from then, and then just deciding to retire instead? That sounds a bit bananas, Amanda. Spoiler alert, it's the plot of the 2022 movie Ticket to Paradise. Okay, maybe the main character doesn't exactly retire, but she does decide to just live in Bali. So it's like the retirement most 60-year-olds can only dream of. Yet she's there in her 20s, living it up in Bali, never even starting her career as an attorney. Now, I blame her mom. Her mom, played by the one and only Julia Roberts, love her, the character, has this mantra. Why save the good stuff for later? Just like the movie got mixed reactions and reviews, this whole retirement thing gets mixed definitions and approaches. Are you ready to build a life and a wealth building strategy that you don't need to retire from? Then you're in the right place. Why save the good stuff for later? Hey, I'm Brandon, and this is, of course, Amanda. Welcome to Wealth Wisdom Financial Podcast and YouTube channel. We believe when conventional financial thinking doesn't get you where you want to go, you need wealth wisdom. So what we'd love you to do is hit that subscribe button. And if you're watching on YouTube, please give, give us a like and a comment below because we want to hear from you. Now, Amanda, your mom and you practically like often are forcing me to watch too many romantic comedies around the holidays. I mean, you know, when you do want to watch movies, those are the type of movies that you uh, have me watch, including Tickets to Paradise, which we did watch during the holidays. How does that relate to wealth wisdom? And, and to be fair, you know, I'm not a huge fan of those, but you know, it is what it is. Well, Brandon, it is way better than the violent movies that you often make us watch. But before we get into marital tiff, I'll bring us back to the real topic of today, redefining retirement. Here's the big idea. Over the last five years, we've asked hundreds of individuals what the word retirement means to them. And yes, for those listening to the audio version of the podcast, I did just do air quotes around the word retirement. Anecdotally, we feel like there's a growing, growing number of people who see themselves always working. They don't want to actually stop working, but they'll always keep working in some capacity, but they want to have the freedom to pick and choose when they work and what they do. They're trying to build this life and this relationship with work that they don't need to retire from. They found one or more passions that they can use to generate revenue and they can build a system that somebody else can follow to work in the business and do the day-to-day. -day. And they just have to make sure the system always works, kind of the four-hour work week kind of idea. Yep. And now when they've got that system working, they can just go and enjoy their lives and hopefully it'll keep working and they can enjoy their lives throughout. We've come to realize that retirement simply could mean not having to work for someone else, not having to do a job within your business, but having the ability to work when and how much you want and still enjoy life. And why put off that good stuff till later? You could possibly even absolutely start building toward that today. Now, I mean, some of it, I just kind of wonder, I mean, there could be, you know, some struggles that happen. There's things that people kind of go into this thinking that, oh, it's just going to be easier on the other end. I'm going to just, I mean, I've been there. Like you could quit your day job and then go into this venture business thing, whatever it is, and it's going to be easy. Have you, you have people that you talk to on that? Oh yeah. It's definitely not for everyone. I mean, they say Less than 3% of the world's population are entrepreneurs. We're not necessarily talking about building some big tech giant or that kind of thing. That would, that's not probably the passive income lifestyle most are thinking about. But even if it's something simple, something that's going to generate a little bit of revenue that's going to, you know, give you extra for building and 
going into your own definition of retirement, that's still going to take some work. Yeah. And it's going to be on top of the work that you're doing to make money ends meet right now. And that that's not for everybody. You have to want it. But also, if you really want it, you figure it out. You keep going. You keep iterating. You make it work. The wrong thing to do, though, is to pour all your money into it. One thing I've, I've been very thankful for, even when we were building our first business, was keeping money that we were not putting into the business, keeping contingency funds, emergency funds, whatever you want to call them, and then also making sure the business was filling us up, not just we're building the system that works on its own and we never get rewarded for it. So a lot of people go into a lot of debt trying to create something that doesn't even work. That's one of the things I think we should say. Um, go into this cautiously if you're going to take this kind of definition of retirement. Yeah. And then knowing when to, quote unquote, retire and create your own schedule. I think that that is uh, sometimes great. It sounds good on one end and then sometimes it sounds good on the other end as well. And so how do we balance those two things, knowing that nothing ever goes according to plan? And the other thing I think, think a lot about when it comes to quote unquote retirement is creating more of a passive income plan. Like what is that or, or future income plan rather? Like what are the future income that's coming in, whether it's from coffee sales or real estate or, or whatever, that I'm able to build the systems that create the results that I mm -hmm. want. Yeah. It doesn't just happen right away. Right. Um, and this whole, how do you know you're ready to, right? Because you could build and you might feel like you're never ready. And then other people burn the bridges right away and they're just going all in. I love this idea I came across of the freedom number. Mm -hmm. For a lot of people, it's you want to have this nest egg by the time you're this age. That way you can just live off of it for the rest of your life. This redefinition of retirement is more what you're talking about. is about income. How much is that system that you're creating to create this income? How much is it generating that you get to keep each month? And is that number going up? And how much does it need to be in order for you to take that leap, to yeah. leave your W-2 or to pass on some of the admin work to a VA or those kind of things? And thinking strategically along that gives you an idea of how do you know you're ready? And that leads me to one of the challenges that I see uh, as I see people going from the W-2 thing to this passive future income planning thing is they put their money into things that they don't have potential access to, right? And they can't access it without penalty restrictions until they're 59 and a half. And so then there are these like, you know, 40, 30 year olds who are like, I can't wait to do this. Oh, wait, I can't do it yet. And, and they've have this two investment that they've been putting into for a long time and they're stuck. And so thinking about those vehicles uh, is really important, even from the early years to the later years. Yeah. So if I were to say that in a different way, if we're redefining retirement, then the tools that would help someone achieve conventional retirement might not be the same tools for our redefined retirement. Yeah. You know, the 401k, the IRA, the retirement accounts, where there's penalties and restrictions before you're 59 and a half. And once you're 72 under current law, that could also change. You have to take out required minimum distributions. If you're redefining things, you're doing something unconventional. You're building passive income through a business, through real estate, through an Etsy store, whatever it is. You might need some cash available that, or a lot of cash available, that if it's tied up in one of those conventional retirement accounts, it might not work for you. So you got to consider that too. Yeah. I think the main thing that you want to end with is what, right? <laughs> well, it's this. If retirement had a Facebook account and you were going to be in a relationship with retirement, the relationship status would probably be, it's complicated. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, that, that is the way I think finances go, the way life is, business. Uh, anybody that's run a business for any length of time knows that that's it's the, complicated. That's the status. Yep. So bottom line, there's this mix in your life right now of enjoy life now. Why put off the good stuff till later and make sure you can enjoy life later 
that everybody finds their unique mix. And it's this dance in one foot, the other foot, you're going back and forth. What's the practical first step? We're all about giving you something, you know, the wisdom sees the next step. They, you know, that's a very wise thing to look for. And we found this 2022 survey. We'll put a link in the show notes. And it, it just surveyed a thousand people. So you can take it with a grain of salt if you want. But real survey, legit. And they found that among those surveyed who had done retirement planning, 91% say that it had been useful and 33% reported that it had been critical. Let me say that again. If you took 10 people and you asked mm -hmm. them if they'd done retirement planning and they said yes, nine of them would have found it useful and three would have found it critical. I don't know who that one person was that didn't even find it useful. Maybe it was because they hadn't defined retirement for themselves. So then the planning didn't actually provide any use. So what we wanted to make this episode about was to give you permission to define retirement for yourself, don't let anybody else redefine it for you, and to encourage you to create a strategy to grow your wealth, to grow your passive income, and that you can have that strategy without taking unnecessary risk. And if you're looking for a financial professional that's gonna do that, that's gonna allow you to redefine retirement, gonna help you create a strategy toward your unique definition, and help you not take unnecessary risk, you're going to have a hard time finding them, but you found two of them right now. So thanks for um, listening to us. Thanks for being here. We would love to be those allies along your financial journey. You can learn more about how to connect with us at wealthwisdomfp.com. That's wealthwisdomfp for financialpartners.com. Um, there's a discovery call link there. Really quick, 15-minute intro to get to know you, get your questions answered, talk about what it would look like to work with us. No obligation, no upfront cost. Please schedule that call, wealthwisdomfp.com. So all that to say is it is really important to define retirement for yourself and kind of reverse architect. it. So that's where we want to help you along the way uh, do that. So anyway, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course, live long and profit, not just in the future, but in the present as well. Why put off a good thing? Yeah. The topics presented in this podcast are for general information only and not for the purpose of providing legal accounting or investment advice. On such matters, please consult a professional who knows your specific situation.